Hello everyone, in this session we will see how to create data shortcuts. Data shortcut is a fundamental tool to improve your productivity by creating a dynamic link file. Uh, let's say from this source file, it has a horizontal and vertical alignment in its surface in the alignment. It has a surface I created, here is a data shortcut for surface and for alignment. From this surface and this alignment, I created a plan profile a plan profile from the source file. I created cross section. I created cross section and I calculate the artwork volume. And also I create a profile with one to one scale for structure engineer to design the bridge. So all three files are created from a single file, from a single file, this file. On this file with with a dynamic with a data shortcut. So sometimes uh, maybe the structure engineer uh, order to uh, make change in uh, uh, profile of the bridge for opening. Uh, he may say uh, he may order to make it to two meter or three meter up due to the opening of the bridge. So when I make this save. When I make this safe, it will reflect uh, on all three uh, files. Let's say here. So uh, I created, so we can see uh, it's uh, notify me uh, the changes uh, has been made in original uh, or in source file. So when I create, you can see here, focus in this section. When I make in signalize, it will make up because this file is dynamically linked with the source file. So it is very, very powerful to use and practice data shortcuts in every civil society. It will improve your productivity. Okay, let us create data shortcut. How to set up data shortcut? A data shortcut, it will work in all versions of civil society because it's a fundamental tool. Let's go in 2023. This file is 2022. So let's, for time purpose, I already created, I prepared one file. So this file is known as road A. From, from this road A has, uh, so in this file, it has surface, it's known as uh, EGA and also alignment, uh, road A, and also the vertical profile or the finished surface. So to create a data shortcut, the first thing you need to work on set working folder. You need to create working folder. Let's create first working folder. So let's see uh, in my uh, drive, uh, I already created uh, the folder for uh, data shortcut for 2023 and data shortcut for 2022. So in 22, we have a, a number of uh, files to be, uh, files already created. But now in 2003, I use a new uh, folder. So it's MPT folder. Let me select this folder. This is my working folder. Every time when I create data shortcut, it will be stay in uh, this folder. Okay, I select the folder. Then, then we need to create a project. We need to create a project. Let's give a name. Road A. Road A. Uh, use a project template. We will see. Let's uh, make it this standard. Road A. Uh, then uh, use, uh, if you want, you can give a, a description. Uh, we use a project template. So for the time being, let us uh, uh, use as it is. And let's create. So I created this data shortcut. When I create the project, it will show me here. It will show me the data shortcut and the project. Then let's create the actual files, what I need from this uh, file. Let me create this one. So it's warning me this file is not associated with the project I created. So therefore, no problem to fix this one. So I'll come here and I will make this file associate with the, with my project. So associate the project to the current drawing. Then uh, I'll select only, I have one uh, project. I'll select road A. Then I, I, I already uh, associate this uh, file with my project. Then let's create the actual data. When I select the create data, here it is the available file, the civil object is to be uh, created as data shortcut. I will create uh, the surface, 
then from the alignment i will create horizontal and vertical alignment i don't need the uh, existing surface as the center created then let me uh, let us, uh, when i say okay it was created here there is a plus sign let's expand this one here it uh, existing surface uh, uh, a and also there is alignment road a and also the profile so let's go in new file then i can create a reference file from the source file road a in this file so let's me create this surface this surface i can change a style and profile uh, sorry style and uh, uh, name is possible let me say okay then let me make a zoom extent see my surface is already created this surface is the source file is from a so if you want the source file you can right click and you can open the source file it's simply if you if you forget the, the place of the source file then let's create the alignment it's very easy to create alignment also let me create the alignment already the alignment is created but you can't uh, uh, change this alignment if you want to copy the surface as well as the alignment it's very easy right click and you'll say promote when i say promote this alignment will be copy in this file and the dynamic relation between the source file is interrupted interrupted so no no more dynamically interrupted this one okay so let me double click this one and you can you can change uh, the alignment this is a normal cvcd alignment so i don't need this one anymore let me delete let me create again let me create again uh, okay i create again uh, but also you need to create a profile you can create a profile also then you can use this uh, horizontal and vertical alignment surface to create plan profile, to create cross section, quantities, anything uh, you want. So let's create a surface. Let's in extract the center line, the existing surface. Let's create a profile view. I can create a profile view. Let me make this line width. You can see this one. So my profile uh, view is created. So this is the uh, data shortcut okay if you want another another let's open another drawing i don't need this anymore no need okay then let's open another files road b and road c let me open road c also so it's possible to create the sh data shortcut for uh, road c let's in this case what i'm going to do i will create a new project new project in the same folder i'll create a new project so road sorry road road c so in this case if you want description you can give but in this case let's use a, a project template let's create let's go and check our folder our working folder here it is our working folder uh, data shortcut 2023 so in this file we have already created two projects project a and project c in project c only we have two files one folder and one application xml file this is untouchable file uh, so we don't need to touch these files because this is uh, a file used by the application the application so need uh, you need to care for these two files so let's see in road c in road c when we road c it's organized folders will be created so this is uh, underscore data shortcut then uh, documents external references production drawings reporters and source drawings in source drawing we may have we, you can save the source file here and also the surface you can in the surface uh, as, as you like even you can save uh, another uh, places no problem so this is the way the difference between i think you got the point so uh, then when i create this project let me create data shortcut when i when i select uh, when i click a data shortcut it will give me a chance to select uh, the data what i need so I need a finished surface, I need a horizontal, I need existing surface. Then, then I will say OK. So you'll see in, at this, uh, it will show me uh, the available uh, data shortcut 
uh, civil objects. So let's create a new file. When a new file, when I when I want to create data shortcut, it will show me the last created project. The last created project. Let me create a surface. Here it is. Here it is the surface is created. You can use uh, whatever uh, you like, like cross section, plan profile, and uh, anything uh, you want you can create from this file let me create the alignment also let me create a profile also sorry let me create a profile also yes it was created so if you need a, a third file it's the same way you, you can create a project first let's open uh, let's go to in road c in road b in road b let's create also this one let's create project let me say this road 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 B, Road B. So let's create this. I don't need a template file. So Road B. Then let me create a, a data shortcut. It will uh, warn me uh, this file is not associated with the project. So no problem to fix this. It's the same as the previous. So I will come here and I will associate the project with the current drawing. That means Road B project so that's what so I can create now the surface or whatever uh, what available in this file so I can create uh, this one no problem so once I created this one even I will add if you want you can add those files here so for the time being let's create a new file let's create the surface there it is let's create the alignment there it is Let's zoom extent. Here it is. This is uh, from uh, road A. It was created from road A. Let's change my set shortcuts folder. Let's set our project. So I have three uh, objectives. Let's create B. Let's create B. From B, you can get surface B. That's very simple. Then from uh, you can get uh, create reference the alignment. You see, the two projects by chance, the nearby projects are different, but they, they are the same, the continuity uh, project. Then, if you want to create the copy of those files, which are the copy, the copy, you can come here at the manage file in, in the home page at manage. You can create this data shortcut, create all data re reference. When I, when I click this one, all file will be copied. It will be copied in this file, so uh, no more uh, dynamic relation uh, uh, will be maintained. So, so it is very powerful to use dynamic relation data shortcuts to improve your performance. I think it is a basic introduction. Uh, thank you very much. If you are new here again, please subscribe the channel. Uh, we will see on the next section. Thank you very much.